Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week one assignment of the course blockchain and its applications. So guys, for the past five years, we have been providing solutions for various NPT courses. So blockchain is relatively a new course introduced uh, in the past one and a half to two or two years. So we have been providing the solutions for this this course as well. So we tried our best to give you the most probable solutions, guys. So if you have, if you want to propose any solution change, you can please do that in the comment section. And if you come to our notice also, we'll please uh, update that in the comment section. So before final submission, once again check for any updated solution available, guys. So these are completely our probable solutions. So please, we need your support and encouragement to do further videos, guys. So please like the video, subscribe our channel, and definitely share with your friends and classmates. So first question, which of the following statements is true regarding the foundational concepts of blockchain and cryptography? So our first question, the probable answer is option B, guys. SHA-256 is a cryptographic hash function widely used in blockchain due to its fixed output size and collision resistance. So mark option B as the probable solution for first question. Now let's move on to the second one. Guys, please watch the video till then. Don't skip the video. If you make any in between changes you, you can be able to note those changes only if you watch full video so don't skip the video guys and please share this with your friends and classmates and do subscribe and like the channel so if you if you like the video then only our videos will appear in suggestions for other students as well second question an attacker wants to find a collision in a cryptographic hash function or hash function with a 256 bit output output what is the approximate number of hash operations required to succeed so for second question, the probable answer is option A guys, 1 into 2 power 128. So mark option A. Next, third question. Guys, for the past five years, we have been in this NPTEL field guys. So with that experience, we are providing the solutions. So please subscribe our channel guys. We need your continuous support and encouragement to upload further week videos as well so definitely like the video and please share this in your whatsapp and official college student groups create awareness among your friends and classmates as well so third question a blockchain network is a sharp 256 for its hashing process how long would it take to compute 2 power 128 hashes for a collision attack right so for third question the probable answer is option d guys 10 power 25 years 10 power 25 years Next, fourth question. In a decentralized distribution system with 100 participants, what is the which of the following is true? So for fourth question, option C is the correct option, guys. Participant may or may not trust each other. So an agreement will be there through consensus protocols. So option C. Next, fifth question. So fifth question, uh, block generation time is five minutes. So if the network operates for 12 hours in total, how many blocks will be added to the blockchain? So for fifth question, the probable answer is option A guys, that is 120, 120 blocks. So mark option A. Now let's move on to the sixth question guys. So before getting into this question, I want to make a small announcement. So that is regarding exam preparation MCQs. So for the course blockchain and its applications, we have collected the past NPTEL assignment questions and also combination of our own handmade questions extracted from NPTEL syllabus. Yes, with five years of NPTEL experience in, in this field, so we have collected and prepared our both our both the past NPTEL assignment questions along with the accurate solutions as well as our own handmade questions, guys. So you you are getting a huge number of 300 MCQs guys, 300 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So for one person it is 300 rupees. Uh, suppose your friends and classmates take in the pack for, so for two to five persons combined it is 500 rupees guys. So if you increase the number of persons in that group and if you take it as a group, you can that much uh, individually you can reduce the price guys. So based on how many members take in the pack, you'll get for less price only. If you ask your friends and classmates to take this pack, so for just 500 rupees, you, you five members will get the 
tax so individually it will take 100 rupees only but if you are only one person only to worry you can get it for 300 rupees only if you are two to five persons you can get it for 500 for one person it will be 300 rupees yes. already many students have taken our pack and got benefited and passed days so be one of them so if you are if you want to purchase the pack, then mail me to this email id bk179470 at the red gmail.com. So I'll give the same email id in the description box as well as in the comment section. If you want to purchase this PDF pack, then mail me to this email id guys. And there is another pack that is YouTube membership pack. Here you will only get a sample of 100 plus MCQs but only in video format, not like PDF in the here. It was only video format for just 89 rupees for one person and only for one month. But here, for 300 and 6, the validity will be till the exam day, exam results day, accurately if you want to tell, till the exam results day. But here it is only for one month and price is also less 89 rupees but only in video format, 100 plus and 6 is only possible. But you are, if you are looking for complete syllabus, it is 300 and 6 spec that will benefit you in the same way, almost the same way, right? So for 100, and, 100 plus and 6 sample YouTube membership, directly go to our channel page you can go to our channel page so this is our channel page guys s kumar edu i'll give the joining link as well so beside the subscribe button there is a join button right so click on this join button then a window will appear like this so select the second one videos only for members pack that is 89 per month pack and again click on this blue color join button and fill in the details guys so that's it you will become a member of our channel and you can get access to all of our members only videos here you can see we have uploaded many members only videos including blockchain and its application course as well so two parts of the video is also available along with the other course so you can get all these courses for the same 89 no extra charge needed guys but if you are preparing for the final exam in a final exam point of view my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 mcqs pack because you are getting in a pdf such option will be there the validity will be till the exam results day and high amount of syllabus will be covered in mcqs in an easy way so for one person it is 300 rupees case for two to five persons combinedly it is 500 rupees case so take uh, this is the mail id if you want to purchase pdf bk179417 at the gmail.com so it's a restricted google link pdf case google drive pdf and if you want youtube membership no need to mail me you can join our channel directly as i have previously told right now let's get back to the solutions so sixth question where are the transaction logs stored in a blockchain network so for sixth question option d is the probable solution in the distribute distributed ledger of each piece across the network next seventh question Which of the following describes the avalanche effect? Avalanche effect in a cryptographic hash function. So option C guys, a small change in the input causes a drastic change in the hash, flipping nearly all the bits. So mark option C. Next, eighth question. Eighth one. Which of the following statements accurately describes a blockchain? So for eighth question, the probable answer is option B. A distributed ledger where data is stored across multiple nodes and is immutable. So mark option B guys. Next, ninth one. Ninth question. Which of the following is our possible use cases of blockchain technology? So for ninth question, there are two probable solutions. The first one is cross-border border payments and the other one is supply chain management case. So mark option A and option B. And moving on to the final question of the assignment, that is 10th one. So for 10th and final question, in a blockchain using sharp 256, if the hashes of strings A and B are concatenated, and then hashed again what is the length of the final hash so option a 256 is the probable solution in final final question guys so friends these are the solutions for week one assignment of the course blockchain and its application so hope this video helpful for you guys if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and definitely share this news with your friends and classmates and don't forget to purchase this huge number of 300 mcqs google drive pdf restricted link so for one person it is 300 rupees case 
for 2 to 5 persons combinedly 500 so please ask your friends and classmates to join in this so for individually very less price you can get 300 and cps every person so this is the mail id if you are confirmed to make the purchase please mail me to this email id naming the subject as well and which pack you want so bk179417 at gmail.com if you want youtube membership you can directly go and join our channel to get the access no need to mail me this so that's it guys i need your continuous support and, and encouragement to upload further videos guys and i am already uploading other course videos as well you can check it check them out so that's it guys for this video so until the next video goodbye thank you